Hello everyone, TNG here back with a brand new Let's Play, this time around for Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. Well, as you may or may not know, I'm actually a big fan of Ratchet and Clank, and I really enjoyed Jack and Daxter, the original game. I never actually got around to playing number two or number three. I mean, well, that's a lie. I played number two twice, um, and only ever made it about maybe a quarter of the way through the game each time. Various reasons I stopped, who knows why. Um, I did enjoy the game though, so that's uh, obviously something that I intend to let's play as well, as well as number three. And hey, I'll actually enjoy the story even more because I don't actually know what's going on in uh, number two or three. So without further ado, I guess we can start this let's play up. Now be aware, when the gameplay starts, I'm going to have to pause to make sure the audio is fine, just so that, uh, you know, it, nothing's too loud or too quiet. So anyway, let's get the show started shall we new game uh also be aware that there was no subtitle options so unfortunately if there are no subtitles that's not my fault so i mean maybe there are in game who knows uh, let's make a new save data all right then i have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find who were the precursors why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? Mm. I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy, oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. <laughs> hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Shock and awe. <laughs> what are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crap? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, 
The two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping, or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that <laughs> right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've <laughs> got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. All right, tutorial time. The funnest time of all. All right, before we continue, obviously, so like I said, I was going to pause the uh, the game and uh, make sure the audio is just fine. It's a fairly long opening cutscene, but I remember every single bit of it, and it brings back so many memories. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, we'll be right back, everyone. And we're back. Alrighty, let's continue where we left off and actually the tutorial. I'm going to check out the water. No, don't go in the water. I know that water is bad for you in this game, that's for sure. Um, pretty simple. I can actually do the long jump like that. My other controls, squares, okay, sure. All right, so we got, sp um, oh, hello. Okay, then. Can't double jump, apparently. Interesting. Hmm, I wonder why that is. All right. So that's, um, okay, that's your, your healing item. That's the green eco. Wonderful stuff. I will also say that uh, I've noticed that the you know the quality of the graphics are pretty nice. I really like um, the HD for this. It's awesome. So let's jump up here. I, I'm not liking the no double jump, but hopefully you do get one. I, I don't know. I can't remember. So you can destroy these things. I'm not getting any orbs from them though, which is a bit of a shame. Um, what was I going to say as well? Oh yeah, I can do the long jump across this. I reckon. I know. Oh, hang on. That that was not a long jump. This is a power cell. Hmm. Awesome. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, that's... Yeah, it has a... Oh, saving the data. Cool. Um, what I was going to say was... Uh, I know that there's actually 101 power cells in this game. At least I believe there is. Thank you for telling me about the saving feature. I wouldn't have known otherwise. <laughs> um, I know there's 101 of them because I actually... In, number, in, in my first playthrough... Well, I don't know if it was my first playthrough, but... Um, my major playthrough of the game... Hang on. Do I actually have to spin jump this one? Okay, cool. Um, oh, wait, I can double jump? What the hell? I could swear I wasn't able to jump, jump, double jump before. That's weird. Uh, probably this. Yeah, too easy. Okay, so we've got to check out... Is there a map for this? There should be a map, shouldn't there? You would think so. Okay, so it doesn't, it's not showing me the map. Huh. Okay. Allows you to run fast, 
like boxes and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Thank you for that description. Now, why did you not tell me what Green Ochre does? I guess maybe I had to be... Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting. Maybe... Oh, thank you. Thank you for the uh, the tip there, Daxter. Um, now, I was going to say is, yeah, why didn't they explain the green echo? Probably because I wasn't damaged, perhaps. Oh, okay, actually, you have to collect it yourself, do you? Oh, yeah, fair enough. But, yeah, there's 101 power cells. I know that I got 100, and I know where the last one was, because I think maybe... I, I would bet that as well, yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there was a map of some sort because I should probably just run through this and then come back for these orbs. Oh no. It lets me click them pretty easy, doesn't it? Damn. That's pretty useful. Um, I'm guessing this way. Ow. Um, okay, so we're running out of time. Was there a time limit on what I had to do? I had to get to that door there. Okay, that's fair enough. But I want to head back because I believe... Okay, then. That was a bit weird. Um, I think there was some stuff down here on the beach, wasn't there? I feel like there is. I Well, I can safely get down here without dying, so that's a good start. Um, now, the question... I don't think you can swim at all. I think immediately after getting in the water, you get eaten by sharks. I think immediately. Could be mistaken, though, um, for all I know. Let's just run through here and collect all these orbs and boxes real quick. Because I know, I believe as well, if you get all of the Precursor Orbs in an area, you also get a um, Power Cell, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, the, the last um, Power Cell that I hadn't gotten was actually from, I think it was called the Spider Caves, I think? It was near this minecart area where you had to, had a bunch of minecarts going across these tracks or something. And for whatever reason, it was in a box or something on a cliff and I couldn't reach it or something. I don't know, I can't quite remember why. Um, doesn't look like I could jump up there at all. All right, well, we'll continue on with the level. I think, I guess that little secret area, as it were, was just down here, and that's it. Um, so, I need to try and basically... Wait, was there another blue... Yeah, there was, like I was going to say. Another blue eco. I need to try and run to the end and get... Um, well, I didn't actually collect it. Run to the end and get uh, that door open. All right. Jump up here, jump up here here. Yeah, it was pretty easy stuff. This is a precursor door. Thank you. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue ego through your body. Really? I had no idea. Oh, come on. You wasted all my blue... Really? I had a lot more blue ego than that. Come on. That's just... Scummy. Oh, look at that. There's actually um a blue ego generator over here. That's useful. <laughs> I guess that's probably what this is intended for in the first place. That's a blue eco vent. A vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Awesome. So I've actually been over there, have I? Because there's green eco. Oh, no, I haven't been over there yet. Okay. That's fine then. All right, cool. So we'll open up this door then. And... Oh, there's a power cell. Nice. Alright, but we're actually going to wrap up the episode here, so thank you so much for watching episode 1 of my Jack and Dexter playthrough. Hope, hope and says me, really? Come on. Really? Oh, really? I had no idea, apparently. I gathered that. Thank you uh, very much for the information. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching episode 1, and have a good day.